Hello, welcome back to Dragonfall, where we are in the process of obliterating people in this area. And I'm going to now be Iger, I I really like Iger. <laughs> oh Oh you hit her! Okay. Oh. I forgot Deckers could do that in this game. Is cover. Okay. Mark the target. You missed. Oh, well, that doesn't make sense. Let's go ahead and use you next. Okay. Can I save? I can. Hotel Administration Terminal. Search the guest register by name. Search the current guest register by room number. Admin services. Green pointers. Room 405. Guy in the master suite on 4 asked for his room code to be changed to get paranoid son of a bitch. Anyway, dude's been renting one of our biggest rooms for months. So I guess I shouldn't complain too much. New code is 1989. Interesting. Return to the main menu. How about Sarah? 304. Cram habit. Two ampules per day. Preferred customer. Bliss habit. One pack per day. Resolve showing signs of weakening. Keep the pressure up. Show signs of becoming a preferred customer. Recreational multi-drug user displays high tolerance for Kim's preferred customer. I do not like you. Um, let's try this. 402. That's the room number. 405. Okay, press the 3. Walk away. I can't. This place is so ancient, I can't deck it. I can't hack. I can't crack it because it's just too ancient. See if I can find something. Oh! Maintenance key fab. Got a data jack, that's about it. Execute shield ESP. That's right, I bought myself an ESP. So 405 is Green Winters. 
elevator panel. Let's see the first floor real quick. Because I still haven't seen signs. Hello, personal terminal of what happened to Sarah and Naja. Access safe. Easy. Decking 2, bypass the security pass protocol. Safe unlocked. Where is your safe in sight? 318. Awesome. Ares Predator, Spartlink, Range Combat 4. Um. Send item to stash, yes. What is my, uh, his range combat three? So I need up to four. Okay, my pistol is one. Dodge is two. Biotech is one. Deck and ESP are both three. Close combat is one. Okay. Always look everywhere. Forty nine, because we're poor and we're shadow runners, and nobody's laying claim to any of this stuff. Also, I'm going to learn my lesson from when I did the first Shadowrun Returns and clear out levels before I go do the boss level stuff. Umona Trauma Kit. Cool. And as I said, I still have no idea. Hello. section of wall seems to be buckling under its own weight. The aging wallpaper that lines the rest of the hallway has long since peeled away, revealing the structure of the wall underneath. I don't have enough. While the underlying structure is reinforced with steel support struts, you can see signs of rust and metal. The entire wall looks like it'd give away if enough force were applied. Get your muscle to slam on the wall. Iger's shoulder checks the wall. The weak wood slats give way with a crunch. Oh, I love the fact that you can get your, your crew to do stuff for you. You couldn't do that in uh, Returns. Searching through the clutter on the desk, you find a small synth leather bound journal. By the way, remember uh, the, the couple videos ago where I was uh, accessing the BBS, the Shadowland BBS, and they were talking about the killer in Seattle? That was Shadowrun Returns, of course. Leafing through the pages of the book reveals only a couple of entries. Each of them scrawled in frantic, barely legible handwriting with crude doodles filling up the margin. Read the first entry. Okay, okay, okay. I know Eddie's up to something. something. Like, I heard him today talking to that guy who works in the kitchen, asking where the cleaning supplies was at. I'm doing valley voice for German people. Okay. I've seen Eddie's room. The dude has n never cleaned a day in his life. I'm going to follow him tomorrow and figure out what his deal is. Maybe he's just selling mouthwash to the hobos of locked down the old at the old bus depot. Ha ha ha. I knew it, Fragit Eddie. I saw him. Yesterday I was up on the third floor because the vending machine down here was out of soy calf. So he came up and went over to a, the out of order latrine. He punched in the code. Didn't know I was watching. Well I ain't so stupid. He put in two four seven eight. I'm going to stay up and find out what he's doing in there. Walk away. I think you should have walked away. I have a feeling you found something you didn't want to find. And I am now not too happy about what I might be finding when I go up there. Third floor. Ding! Ding! Current floor, three. Two, 
four, seven, eight, who do we appreciate? The door unlocks. Jazz. He's making he was making drugs. Okay. No sign of any um dead lady. What does Jazz do? Plus two, quickness plus two, and AP plus one for five rounds. I'd rather not use it. There's probably no downside in this game, but I'm not going to risk it. Okay, so fourth floor. Is it 1989? Oops. 1989. That's uh, incorrect. Ooh. I did think of something, though. 401. We're going to go back to that ancient computer. The one you can't even deck into. And... Nothing. Okay. Can we talk to this guy? Tell him the gangers are all dead. care of the guys outside. You should be able to make a run for it. Thank you. I'm as good as gone. And he is not going to give us any more information. Let's go back here. Cavalier Frag Grenade. Nineteen eighty nine. Door unlocks. Hello, Green Winters. The scene is eerily familiar. The dead man is still jacked into a smoldering computer, his face contorted into a mask of pain. Blue smoke spills from his data jack. Like Monica, and there's something else. The man's outline is wrong. It takes a moment for the realization to sink in. His back is bent at an impossible angle. Jesus. Looks like he convulsed hard enough to break his own spine. Is that even possible? You tell me. Glory gestures at the twisted form on the carpet. Iger kneels beside the corpse, bending to peer at his face. Matches the description that Alto gave us. It's Green Winters. She straightens, glancing back over at the body before returning her attention to you. This what happened to Monica? I suspected it would have. We jacked her out in time to prevent it. Hell of a way to go. Yeah, I'm getting that. Iger takes another glance at the broken corpse, and you can see the uncertainty glowing and growing in her eyes. I've seen biofeedback deaths before, never seen anything like this. Kneeling to inspect the body, you find smears of blood on the carpet under, winter, under Winter's right arm. Moving the arm, you find a number written across the floor. 91612. You use your PDA to take a holopic of the number and the, bo and the body, then step away. Added mysterious numbers. Hanging on the walls, a large mount, gaudily framed pa painting, an impressionist landscape, inexpertly rendered in splotches of cheap acrylic. 
the name the nameplate in the frame reads Har's Mountains 2011. Leave the painting aside, there is nothing here. Interesting. Nothing there. Their way into this area does not seem so. There's no interaction. There's something here. Well, Iger's got a nice felt body. No. What is the number? This could go horribly wrong, so I'm just going to save here. Oh. Still have to search his room somehow. I missed something. Aha! Another painting. Hanging on the wall is a large, godly framed painting. An imaginative still life of some kitchen objects sitting on a table. Move the painting aside. Hanging on the wall. Okay. Let me... Mission items. Four oh five eight seven zero. Thank you. Uh nine ninety one six nine one six one two. Nine one six one two. Inside the disc the safe you find a bundle of old well worn media discs. The words watch me have been hastily written on the back of the topmost disc. Inspect the discs. The disc labeled Watch Me looks almost new. The others are clearly much older, and many of them are badly scratched. The last two discs in the bundle are stuck together, and when you try to pry them apart, the readable surface of the bottom disc peels away. Oh, as soon as you finish with the save, the nearby vid phone begins to ring. Hey there, Chief. Don't hang up. I've got a proposition for you. Who are you, and how did you know I was in this room? See the cameras in the corner of the room? Glancing up, you notice a pair of security cameras. They're tiny things. Their casings colored to blend in with the dingy wallpaper. Easy to miss you. You didn't know to look for them. Wave high. I'm on the other side of them. You've probably noticed this building is under new management, right? And judging by the fresh corpses that I'm seeing strewn all over the hotel, I'm getting a guess that you don't like the new guys any better than I do. But I'd like to make you an offer. You help cover my escape, and I'll get you into a secure vault on the top floor. Belong to the leader of the gang that used to run this place. Trust me, it's still secure. I set up the security protocols myself. The last decker they brought in to take a crack at it came back out on a stretcher. They haven't found too many volunteers since then. You're a decker, then. That'd be an understatement, Chum. More accurate to say that I am the decker in these parts, at least. My name is in the Matrix is Blitz. Maybe you've heard of me. The name rings a bell. Of course it does. I'm Berlin's Decker community. I'm a household name. Tell me about the gang that used to run the hotel. They called themselves Schwarzhausen. 
and they pretty much ran Dogen, Dogen Kip until a few days ago. They weren't a pleasant bunch, but they were better than the jackasses we've got in there now. Why are you in this hotel? How do you have access to the security system? I was in the hotel when it got taken over, and the new gang decided to call, keep me on staff, I guess you could call it. They put me in charge of Matrix security. I may be one of the hottest deckers in Berlin, but a bullet in the head would kill me just as dead as anyone else. Given the circumstances, I didn't see how I could refuse. What's the deal with the new gang? They're terrible people, real bad guys. I keep hearing that. I keep hearing that. All of them. Look, I don't mean to rush you, but we can discuss all of this later. You know, after we get out of the building full of murderous thugs, let's get back to business. What's in the vault? Gear, money, you know, lots of good stuff. I'm going to need specific examples if you want me to help you. Look, buddy, I just set up the matrix security for the thing. The old boss didn't let me set foot into the vault. He was a little paranoid, you know? But he was adamant that he wanted me to rig up some really killer IC, so there must be something of value in there. So how about it? You want to crack at the vault or no? Yeah, where do I meet you? Room 505 on the penthouse floor. Come rendezvous with me. I'll take you to the vaults. Okay. Optional. Meet the man at the top. Or optional return her belongings. Maintenance closets on hotel floors. Oh, that means I can get into there now, all those places now. So I I better go check out this room 401. Because it's 5870. Where did I pick that up? Glad he keeps it in notes for me as a mission item. Door on. Oh, I got this from the, from the, uh, I got this from the guy who was in the kitchen. That works. Oh, this is apparently not all. Okay, see you in a moment. <laughs> 